All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I want to tell you or talk to you about how you can save money when buying cutting torches. Here's the setup I have. Here's what I have. Here's some extra regulators I have. So let's just hop right into it. So this is where you're going to save money when it comes to buying torches. This is a old Rego torch, I believe, and it is made. It's called a KX cutting torch. National cylinder gas. Chemtron, I believe. It says Rego on the handle. There's a lot of different names on it, but when I searched Rego KX Torch, this is what came up. Now, I picked this up at a garage sale for 15 bucks, and it works, okay? The knobs work. Yeah, it's kind of crusty and rusty, but I know that it is very hard to find anything for these. The tips were hard to find. Um, I found an eBay store that sells tips. Um, I think there's a website I can't remember called Joe's Welding Supply or something like that. They sell tips for every kind of brand. Um, that's where I got this tip. So that's another good way right there, uh, garage sales. I'm telling you, you can find good stuff at garage sales when it comes to this. 15 bucks is probably the equivalent of this, a Smith, Victor, something like that. 300 easy all day. Next is my favorite torch. This is kind of like my go-to utility torch, you know, kind of like a utility pocket knife. You just grab it. This is what I grab for anything. Uh, I leave a number zero tip in here. Kind of lighter duty, quarter inch, three eight, anything less than that. So story about this is I actually got this torch for free from a family friend. They were getting rid of a bunch of stuff in their garage and I got tanks, I got hoses, I got regulators. Um, they called and said, hey, we know, you know, you, you do welding, so do you want this stuff? I said, yeah, how much do you want for it? And they were very adamant on uh, not taking any money for it, even though I asked many times how much, how much. So in the long run, got this for free, ended up getting them, I think, a bottle of wine, the older folks, something like that as a thank you. But the torch was in really, really rough shape. And so, for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure a lot of you do know this, so if you do know, you probably already know where this is going, you can get name brand torches like this, like an Airco, Conoco, Concoa, I think it's called Airco Concoa, Smith, Victor, Harris. If you find old torches and you can get them for dirt cheap or nothing, you can actually bring this to your local welding supply. I believe I brought it to a Praxair by me when I used to live a couple counties over, and they had it rebuilt for me. They send it out, they can send it to a tool rebuild place, and they did all the internals, checked everything, they rebrazed, I believe, the top here, cleaned the inside, I got a new nut, uh, they did stuff with the valves, everything, put new springs in, I think that's a spring, I'm not sure. Um, uh, for 150 bucks. Now you're thinking, all right, that's a lot of money. People can see all these torches on Amazon, eBay. You can get a whole kit for with regulators for 150 bucks. But you're talking about stuff made in China. You're talking about stuff that is not going to last. Now, if you're a hobbyist, maybe. But me, I consider myself still a hobbyist, even though I do this on the side. Um, this torch is like very well built. It's old school America. Um, you can just like do anything with this torch. And when I brought this to the shop, the Praxair shop to get rebuilt, he saw it and he said, wow, that's a really nice torch. They're going to clean that up really nice. And he was telling me that the equivalent nowadays now see Concoa Airco, I believe does not make torches anymore. They might not be in business. I'm not really sure the backstory, but you can't buy this torch. They call this the corn corn on the cob or corn cob handled one you can't buy these new and he said anything equivalent i believe maybe a harris smith or victor uh over 400 dollars. so right there i just saved 250 and that is really a good good thing to do when you get old name brand torches just go get them rebuilt you're gonna save yourself a lot of money so next a Victor that was given to me. I got a rosebud and a cutting torch tip or uh, the cutting head for it. So I actually just leave the rosebud on for my rosebud needs. 
Again, this one worked, didn't have to get it rebuilt. I have tips for this in case I need it as a backup. Now over to here, we have another Konkoa Airco torch that I actually bought these two and this one in a lot years ago on eBay, I believe for $40. This is a burns o -matic, which is knockoff Chinese. So that one probably going in the garbage. This is a Victor. So this is the smaller series Victor, the light duty. I will probably end up getting that rebuilt. And also another, can't see, GoPros, gotta love GoPros. There's a Airco. Another corn cob handled one. So $40 for three torches. I get that one rebuilt, say it's another $150. Get the Victor, say that's 100, it's a smaller torch. 250 for two old torches that are made and refurbished to essentially brand new. And you're getting yourself really good torches. So you definitely, definitely can save money by buying used stuff. Garage sales. I'm on Facebook Marketplace all the time looking for deals. Honestly, you can go and get a deal on Facebook Marketplace. Bottles, torch, $200, $250. As long as it's a good torch, old Victor, uh, good regulators, like that's a good deal. And if it needs something, if you already have bottles and if you already have hoses, uh, you can go get it rebuilt. I'm telling you, you guys can save a lot of money by doing it this way. And um, like I said, I know a lot of you probably already know this. I know some of you probably do this. I think it was Melton Metal Anthony on one of his videos says he gets old regulators and gets them rebuilt. Instead of buying $400 regulators, you get them rebuilt for $150. That's a smart move. So if you want to save some money, buy the used torches. It's definitely worth it. Get them rebuilt, and you can have a nice, nice arsenal of torches. So here's the style that the bigger Victor takes. Here's the style of tip that that takes. You can see the difference. Airco's on the left, Victor's on the right. This is the Smith one. This is completely different. And this is the small Victor. So here you go. Here's a little size comparison. That goes there. And then obviously the other Airco. Um, these are two regulators that I had bought uh, probably three years ago. And those are the regulators I had for a while. I now have Victor gauges that I bought. They were actually running a deal at Praxair. Um, bring in a couple old regulators and you can get those for 75 a piece. Again, I had two old regulators that I had gotten from a garage sale or I think I got free with that one torch. Brought them in. They say it doesn't matter if they get rebuilt or not. Traded them in and I got two brand new regulators for $75. Now, I believe those are the ones that are made in Mexico, not in America, but they still work great. Um, I use the cutting torch maybe like once every two weeks when I am doing stuff out here or I get a side job that comes in. So these don't get a lot of use, which is fine. They'll last a little longer, but I hope this helps people. Like I said, again, I know a lot of you probably know this, but for the people that are just starting out uh, that you want to get into cutting, fabbing, welding. This is a good way to get a handful of torches, a couple torches um, for a lot less expensive and you're gonna get good quality stuff. You're gonna go on eBay, you're gonna go on Amazon, you're gonna get the kits that cost $200 but you're gonna get junk, okay? I've used those ones before, I've had one before. They crap out, they never work right. Once these old school American made good torches are rebuilt, it's like a brand new torch hope this helps i actually been in the garage today uh kind of just cleaning up so i figured uh, i had all the torches out and i would uh make this video because i'm sure some people would like to hear this maybe some people had no idea you know so that's it i got a couple things i'm working on so i'm trying to make some videos for you guys but this one's a nice easy quick one um while i had everything out getting everything organized trying to organize my shop i just found a bunch of old craftsman wrenches that i'm kind of going through and I might even list some of them on eBay because I have 
my own set. I actually have a nice set of American made Armstrongs that someone gave me. And uh, I like those a lot. And I know them craft some of those craftsman wrenches uh, can bring some decent money. So I'm kind of just puts it around today. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, like, comment, do the whole nine. Uh, and that's it. We'll catch you guys on the next video.